Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm sorry I've been missing in action for like ever, but I'm back now and I have a tutorial for you. It says on this look, it is mostly Kat Von D, the star studded palette, and then I have an indie that I'm using in place of one of the colors from the star studded pal palette because it's basically the same but I like the indie one better so I'm gonna be using that and oh yes I'm using this because I don't give this enough love and it is now summer almost summer so yeah figured I'd get in with the bright looks already and go ahead and get all that but uh yeah um it's like a peachy orangey do chromey look it's pretty awesome I really like it a lot but yeah, if you are interested in how to get this look, then okay. just keep watching. First, I'm going to start off by using my primer. Always, always use primer. Doesn't matter what kind you use, whatever you like best. Use it. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure that's all over my lid and I need to put some on my lower lash line okay first color we are going to take from the star studded palette is this color called Solar. It is the first one on the left, the peachy matte color. I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush, get that all over, and just put that all over my lid. Everywhere, all over my lid, and lower lash line. It's going to be the foundation color. Okay. Now you want to take a fluffy brush and you want to go into this color below it called platonic. It's like a peachy duochrome color with like a green shift greenish yellow shift it's really pretty it's the um, color that I have a dupe for but I think it's a better dupe and I'll be using that in a second you just want to put that all in the crease Make sure it's all blended in to your liking. Then you want to go in with a tiny, tiny, tiny detail brush. And you want to go into the color next to it. That orange, red color, red, orange color, whatever. That one's called Mandala. I'm going to go in that one. Tap off your brush and create a angle the edge ah, stupid brush like you're almost like you're gonna draw a liner make sure that's all good and then you're gonna go in with a bigger brush but it needs to be somewhat firm so you can still have the precision, but you need, and then we're gonna go in and just pack that all in the inner part, the inner, inner, the outer part. Up in the crease. You only wanna go about halfway, maybe not even halfway little under halfway. Okay. 
be like that. Then you want to take a blending brush Blend out that edge. I might have to go back in. This color really needs like something, a sticky base because it doesn't stay very well. Okay, like that. Then I went in to my electric palette and I picked up the color Slow Burn. This color is probably my favorite in this palette because it looks orange, but when you put it on it's like a neon corally peach. It's so pretty. Okay, and then you just want to kind of go over that other orange that you laid down in the outer crease area. Just kind of blend that. Like so. Alright, now for the indie. I feel really weird not using all indie eyeshadows, but I have so many palettes that I don't use anymore that I probably should because that is a major waste of money. But yes, this color is the color I'll be using, the dupe color, and it's called Visions. It's from Notoriously Morbid, and I'll show you a swatch, if my camera will pick it up. It's like orange, and then you see that duo to it. Well, it's kind of showing a goldish color, but it's like a greenish gold. It's Oh my god, I love that color. I'm going to be using some of the Notoriously Morbid Shadow Bind just so that color pops more. And I'm going to be sticking that overlapping the uh, orange color on my lid and going in the center part. And quickly take my visions and pat it over. The shadow bind. I say quickly because I didn't get a whole lot, so it was drying pretty quickly. Ugh. I'm just making a mess. Okay. The next color we want to take is this color, and that one is brass knuckles in the Kat Von D star studded palette. I'm just going to take it on a flat brush and that's going in the inner corner, inner lid area. I don't know why but every time, and it only happens with Kat Von D shadows, but every time I use her shadows and if I get it in my eye it burns a little. I don't think that's a good thing. Okay, now I'm going to take a blending brush, going cleaning it off so it doesn't get orange everywhere. Okay, a clean one, you want to take a clean one. And just go over the top edge of that slow burn. Make sure that is all good and blended. like that. Alright, now I'm going to take a pencil brush, go into slow burn, and put that on the lower lash. All the way up to brass knuckles. I'm also going to use it to kind of brighten up that inner 
or outer corner. Why do I keep saying inner corner? I need to take a nap. <laughs> okay. Um, going back into the electric palette, I'm going to be taking Chaos. That really pretty blue, which, although it's very pretty and it's very blue, it sucks. It comes, it doesn't, it has no staying power, like at all. But, um, I'm trying to look for my, here it is, my ankle brush. And I'm just gonna stick that right there. Okay, I'm gonna kind of blend that with slow burn. All right, last color, finally. I'm going to be taking Anti Star from the Kat Von D palette. This shimmery white. And just popping that right under my brow. You can use your brush to blend it in or finger, whatever. Whatever works for you. I'm just using whatever is closest to me. Okay, now for a liner, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay 24-7 Pencil and Demolition. Waterline. And mascara. I'm using the Lorac Cobra. I don't know why I did this first, because I have to do liner. Sometimes I just get ahead of myself. Okay, for liner, I'm using the Physician's Formula 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner. This stuff is awesome. Okay. Just going to do a thin line and wing it out. This is always the fun part. Not And that is pretty much what, that's pretty much everything. So yeah, if you like this look, then subscribe if you haven't already, thumbs up, and comment and let me know what you would like to see next. And I will see you guys soon. Alright, bye.